In Moodle, groups and groupings are a specific way of putting participants in a group. A course may have only groups. These are a collection of participants placed in a group. A course may also have groups in a grouping. A grouping is a cluster of groups. Groups and groupings can be used for targeted communication, to manage student activity and interaction, and restrict access to activities and resources in a course. Some examples of how groups are used at the CPS are 1. Mainly to put students of a course into sections to group their activities and grades together for easy tracking and access by a class instructor. Another example is, to put all students who need a makeup test into a single group, and then send messages to just the members of that group, advising on a makeup test. Students can be made to be a part of one group, or more than one group depending on course or instructor requirements. An example of this could be a situation in which all the students in a course of many sections can be put in three different random groups. So three different versions of an exam can be administered to the whole class. Groups and groupings have much more than just administrative uses. For a learner, groups have a greater relevance when used with forums. Setting up a forum and putting an instructor along with the students in a group can help encourage interaction among peers in a group through discussion posts and responses on topics set for course assignments. Groups are an invaluable feature in Moodle which can be used in a variety of group settings is conceived by a course administrator. Now we will look at the various settings of a group mode. To begin with, the group mode is decided in the course settings. There are three main group modes. One is no group as the name suggests all users are one general group. This means that the whole class can interact with one another. They can contribute to an activity, see posts and respond to them as a class. This group mode can be overwhelming if the users are too many. In the visible group mode, students in groups can see other groups' discussion posts, but cannot interact with other group members. They can respond and interact with only the peers in their own group. This is useful if the instructor wants students to see others' contribution, but participate only within their own group members. In the separate groups mode, group members can only see their own group's contribution, discussion posts and responses. This is useful if an instructor wants groups to discuss in small cohorts where the students can be monitored and guided. In the next video we will see where to find the group settings and how to set up groups for a course.